Don't go anywhere. I've got a brand new flashlight I'm very excited to show you all. It's the Phoenix PD32 version 2. Although it's very bright, and we're always talking about the front end, the business end of the flashlight, gotta tell you, this flashlight here, it's all about the user interface and that tail cap, so stay tuned. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday. Hope your winter is going well. As you can see, ours is going as usual. So before I get into the details of this flashlight, I'm gonna show you right off the bat why I think that this is a winner. And for me personally, what I like is a tail cap switch button. And this one, it's all about the user interface. Why? Not only is it a tail cap, but your settings are right there on that switch. So the original PD32, I think this came out about 2016. I carried this for three years, love this flashlight. Here is the version two. One thing you will notice right off the immediate glance is there is no mode switch because as I stated, it's all in the tail cap. Other than that, structurally, it is about the same size with another beloved feature of this flashlight. And that is, simply enough, it's tail cap standable. Ready, man? Oh yeah, some good stuff, right? Nice, get it. And just to give you guys a reference point, especially if you're Phoenix fans, here's the LD30, the new PD32, and on the far right, my everyday carry, the PD36R. Okay, so some of the technicals will get out of the way. It runs on an 18650. This does not come with a battery, so you have the option to get one when you purchase it. I highly recommend a Phoenix brand battery. Believe me, they run far better than anything else that I've used like this right here. I like to get the ones that actually have the micro USB port on the side because as you'll notice with this flashlight, and I like it, there is no external charging port. I like to take my batteries out and charge them. And personally, I just don't want, you know, a rubber flange on it. Some of them have it, you deal with it, that's fine. But that's how this one is set up. Also thanking phoenixlighting.com for sending me this. They've been great to work with. And uh, I buy stuff from them. I do buy stuff. And they're always awesome to deal with. So check out phoenixlighting.com. Okay, let's get on to what this baby does for output. The flashlight does have momentary press. Full press is on. And then you cycle through. Full hard press goes right to strobe. off. Very simple. Okay. Your first setting is the eco mode, which is 30 lumens. It's very comfortable. Gives you plenty of light to do lots of things. And that will run for 82 hours, giving you 55 meters of throw. Next up, your mid-section, your mid-level. is 350 lumens, probably going to be the one you're going to use the most. You get 5 hours, 20 minutes runtime, 218 meters of throw. And I'll tell you, the thing about this flashlight is when you use it up and close, it's a very tight, concentrated beam. You think, well, it doesn't seem all that bright, but when you're outside, it's like, wow, 
as to what this thing will throw out there for crystal clear, crispy, white, bright light. And then moving all the way up to your highest setting, 1200 lumens, two hours, 40 minutes runtime, 395 meters. Which I believe, although it's uh, 200 more lumens than the, no, 300 more lumens than the older version, uh, you also get about 150 yards more throw. So it's quite substantial. On the build quality, the usual Phoenix standard of excellence. It is drop proof up to one meter. It is IP68 waterproof. The lens is not plastic. It's set in quite deep, so it's well protected. The clip is decent. Uh, I did notice that on this particular version, it's got quite the wrap around on both sides, so probably less likely to pull off. Not that I've ever had one pull off, but that's a nice feature. In the box you get the obvious flashlight. You get a holster, a lanyard, spare o-ring, paperwork. But again, you have to buy a battery for this. At least the options I've seen so far online. So my own personal thoughts on it. This is a great upgrade to the older version of the PD-32. I love the fact that I just didn't get nailed with the snow falling out of the tree. Uh, I love the fact that this tail cap has the mode selector on it. I reviewed a Phoenix flashlight last year and the AA cell version and just thought that that was fantastic. Uh, and those of you who desire tail cap standability for lantern mode this is one of the few flashlights with a nice button on it that does that and you know interestingly about the button let me show you something so you guys have seen me use my pd36 many a times and you have that noticeable click you can always tell when i'm using this flashlight this is very tactical as in the sense that it's quiet and very sensitive. So it's not hard to cycle through. Just thought I'd point that out to you because uh, that could be something of, you know, interest to you. All right, everybody. Well, I thank you for joining me and uh, I'm excited about this flashlight. Again, I thank you, Phoenix Lighting. If you guys buy anything Phoenix product-wise, buy it from them. They're the people to get it from uh, in the States. At this point in the game, whenever I buy anything from anybody, I always go to the source. Because there are counterfeits out there, you don't know where it's coming from. And I like to deal with the reputable people who actually are part of the company. So, check them out. I'll leave all the links below. You guys can see what the PD32 is all about. And uh, I'll see you soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday.